name is Jamie and I am a nursing student with Pima and today I'm going to be demonstrating IV piggyback initiating the secondary infusion. So first thing I'm going to want to do is ensure my medication is compatible with the primary infusion that is currently being administered to the patient. Once I verify that the medication is compatible, I can move forward. If the medication is incompatible, um, I will temporarily discontinue the primary infusion. And I will do so by flushing the client's injection port. Why is it over there? I will flush the client's injection port with normal saline or any other compatible solution. Um, then I will proceed with the piggyback into the new compatible um, primary infusion. When completed, I will restart the original primary medication using a needless, needleless cannula to assess the client's injection site. I will spike the bag with the secondary um, administration set by affixing the needleless cannula to the end of the secondary tubing. I will clean the injection port of the primary tubing with an antimicrobial swab. I will then insert the needleless cannula into the secondary piggyback tubing into the primary tubing port above the pump. Um, if using the tubing from a previous administration, I will change the needleless cannula prior to inserting primary tubing. I will hang the secondary bag on the IV pole. I will use an extension hook to lower the primary bag below the secondary bag if indicated. Okay. I will clear the tubing of medication by opening the clamp, temporarily placing the secondary bag lower than the primary bag and allowing primary solution to flow retrograde into the secondary bag tubing back priming. I will allow this to backfill until secondary tubing chamber is one third full. I will then clamp the secondary tubing and I will program secondary settings into the infusion device. I will then open the clamp on the secondary bag tubing and the secondary solution will begin to flow. I will check that the primary infusion resumes at its set rate when the secondary volume has been infused. When the secondary bag is empty, I will readjust the rate of administration in the primary solution to the desired flow unless the infusion device controls this on its own. To add a secondary bag, I will first ensure that the medication was the same as the previously administered medication since some drugs will remain in the secondary tubing. A different medication requires its own secondary tubing. I will remove the old secondary bag and Spike's new piggyback medication bag. I will lower partial fill bag below injection port of the primary IV. I will open the clamp on the secondary tubing and allow the solution from the primary IV set to enter tubing which will be backfilling the tubing into the drip chamber. I will change the secondary tubing I will replace every new secondary hours. bag on the IV pole and proceed with administration. I will change the secondary tubing every 96 hours.